Hello, goddesses, and I'm Shauna Roche, and welcome to my three-part mini-series, Selling Your Way, part one today. So I'm just going to share my screen with you here. I'm so excited to share this with you. There we go. Welcome to Selling Your Way, as I said, my three-part mini-series. So today's part one, believing in yourself, believing in your products and your services, selling your way. This three-part mini-series today, like I said, believing in yourself, believing in your products and services, but we're also going to dive in and we're going to talk about your power code and why that's important. And then the next part two will be self-mastery, diving into fear, um, time to let go and choose love and compassion. And then part three is sexy sales goddess transformation, a 12-week journey. And so the secret to my success over the years is I always like to say, Frank Sinatra took advice from him. I did it my way. That song, it's, I actually have it on my iTunes. Um, yeah, it's just like, I have spent years and years taking sales courses and sales programs. Um, and I just, I picked bits here and there, here and there. And I just, I literally, I just, I did it my way. And so my story, as I said, I'm Shauna. I'm a transformational mindset coach. I'm a universal laws coach. I'm certified in numerology. I also have my level two Reiki um, practitioner and um, I'm a founder of the Sexy Sales Goddess. So I bring to you my 25 years of sales and marketing experience and I've won countless awards in a male dominated industry. I've been top sales rep year after year and I left the industry shortly after I fell in love with the coaching industry through my own personal journey and my own personal transformation. And after having all these years and my career of sales, I mean, I loved it, don't get me wrong, but I, I needed some, I was craving something different. I was craving, um, I was craving the coaching industry. I wanted to help women. I wanted to help women have those light bulb moments when they see how powerful they really are and to see their spaces when they're like excited about selling and um, and watching them embody their sexy sales goddess archetype I mean oh my goodness I love watching that and so and and then having them have those moments where they're like I get this now Shauna sales isn't so scary anymore that's what lights up my soul I'm on a mission to help women co feel confident about selling and so I've put together this the sexy sales goddess transformation we'll talk about in a couple of days here but um I just I kind of put it together because after my 25 years of sales like I really thought I was kind of leaving that career which I did leave that career and thought oh okay I'm moving into this coaching industry now and I and I got these certifications and did all this stuff to be a transformation coach because that's what really the whole mindset and transformation in your inner world really working on that inner world, reflecting your outer world and learning to get through all your fear, doubt and uncertainty and come to a place of love and expansion, compassion and possibility was so life-changing for me. And it wasn't until like a few months ago, back in the end of November, I started having conversations with other coaches and other women that were all like asking me about selling. And then I was, I thought, hmm, well, that's kind of interesting because I just, sales came so, has always been so natural for me, but it was because I did it my way. Like I said, I took all these courses, took the little bits here and there over the years, because whatever corporation I was working for, they would fly me to at least one sales course a year. So it was like, but but I struggled with the way they were teaching some of the stuff because it was very traditional selling. So there was a lot of tactics and there was a lot of do this, do that, do that. And so when I thought of when people were asking me to help them with selling, I was like, hmm, how can I, can I, how can I help them to learn how to do it their way? And so that's what it all became about helping you sell your way. Not, not what worked for me, not what worked for anybody else, but what is going to work for you. And so that's what I want to dive into. So I see you goddess, I see you struggling to do all the things, losing your confidence in making money doing what you love, struggling with the sales side of it, taking the courses and the programs, not getting the results you want, struggling because sales feels, it feels out of alignment for you. It might even feel icky, slimy or gross, but yet you know that sales equals revenue and sales gives you the freedom, the freedom to spend more time with your family. And so believing in yourself, where to start, for me, it's your power code. So this is where I'm bringing in the numerology part of it. So with the numerology, with your power code, you get to meet the woman you were born to be, your sexy sales goddess archetype. So why is this important to know? So that you can truly, so you see how truly unique you are and you can learn to sell your way. So here's an example. Like we're all born with a code. It's in our DNA. It's our birthday. And it's coded uniquely to us 
this because there there may be like there there's there's core codes like there's sixes there's nines there's threes there's well two to eleven but then there's also other layers of that on top of it then there's other influences and then there's how there's there's like and I'll get into that in a minute because I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm excited and I talk fast when I'm excited. So I do, <laughs> I do apologize when I'm talking too fast. So there's just so many aspects and so many layers to who we are. And it's all in our code. It all starts with our code. So example, um, June 1st, all Geminis, yet each woman has a different core personality that I'm going to talk to you about. Have you ever been in that situation? Or you ever met another one? Like, like I'm a Gemini. I've met other Geminis. And I'm like, I, I'm not like her at all. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, wow, I would never think to do that. And yet we were so different. But when we look at your power code, it's like you'll have a core personality that'll be the same. But then, like I said, there's other layers on top of it. And even if you have, you're all born June 1st, we are all considered Geminis. But in this case, if you were born in 1970, you'd be a power code six. And so with a six, you're the, you're the goddess of creativity, love, harmony. It's that, that energy of a, you know, that cup of hot chocolate and the warm blankie. And it's just, they're all about like family. And, and um, if you were born, say June 1st, 1973, you have a power code nine. So you're the goddess of ambition, humanitarian, you're a seeker. So as you can tell, different than, than a six. And then again, if you're born June 1st, 1967, you're a power code three, which is what I am, a power code three. So goddess of abundance, creativity, and excitement. So I love this example because we're all born June 1st. We're all Geminis, but yet we're all completely different. So that's how just my easiest way to show you that um, we have all these layers. And so a six will sell different than a nine, a nine will sell different than a three, a three will sell different. You know, we each have our own ways of selling. So that's why it doesn't, learning to sell the way someone else sold may not necessarily work for you. It actually might, might stress you right out. So believing in yourself, your power code, again, why does this matter? So I'm going to circle back to why some courses work for us and why some don't. Because as I know, I've taken courses and I'm like, well, I, that didn't work for me at all. But other people thought they were wonderful. You've probably had that where you've taken courses. It's like, well, it's worked for her, it worked for her. Why isn't it working for me? So let's look back at that power code six. So picture this six, you know, this, this loving, you know, the flow of love and happiness, that warm cup of hot chocolate, your favorite blankie. And the six does, they enjoy that flow of love and happiness and harmony and the balance between their masculine and feminine energy. And now picture that six signing up for a sales course that focus on sales and teaches sales the traditional way, which is more the masculine energy. So they dive into sales tactics and strategies and, and scripts and elevator pitches. And you can take that to the bank and, you know, and when to use open-ended questions and when to use close-ended questions. And I feel like saying, and take that and we'll throw in a set of steak knives. Like, you know, it's, it's that kind of, that kind of selling. Um, and they're, and you're being told, you know, if you say this, they say that you say this, they say that. And the thing is, it, for a six, that is going to feel icky, slimy, and sleazy. They're going to want to take a shower. For them, that is gonna, that's going to feel so, so icky for them. Like it is, it's going to feel awful. And, and they're going to sit there and like put down that cup of hot chocolate. They're going to grab that cozy blanket, put up their head, and they might even have a good cry. So you see how valuable it can be to understand your power code. So for me, for example, as a three, I'll share a little story with you. Um, as a three, I, I was always confident in who I, what I was selling and what I brought to the table. And I believed in myself so much that when I was at this one sales conference and I, I don't even know, 50, 60 men, like I was the only woman and it was a sales conference and they were teaching us those tactics. And it was very masculine energy and it was very much say this and say this and do this. And, and we were role-playing and um, the gentleman that I was role-playing with he was going off the script. I was struggling with even doing a strip, a script to begin with, because that my energy was just like, I was like, no, this just feels gross. Like it, it did not feel good for me to even be having that, be role playing that in the beginning, in the first place. But here I was already out of sorts, feeling uncomfortable because it didn't, it didn't, I wasn't aligned. And all of a sudden he decides that he wanted to mess with me and thought it would be funny to go off script. So he went off script and came at me as an angry customer. 
And I just kind of like, I went back right away. I was like, what? And then he came at me again. And I just looked, I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, well, not all customers are going to be like, you know, nice to you. Like some are going to be angry. They're going to have issues. They're going to come at you. And, and I just, I just like, whoa, I looked at him and like threw the script down, like I threw the paper and, and there was my boss and other coworkers. And I, I just looked at him and I was like, no, no, are you kidding me? I said, no one, no one has ever talked to me like that or disrespected me that way. And if anybody did talk to me and disrespect me that way, I'm like, and at that time I was in my masculine energy. I said, I'd like freaking go up one side of him down the other. His head would spin so fast. He wouldn't know what happened. And I'd walk out the door. I thought, I don't care how many millions of dollars that account could be. It's like, no, not, no, nobody talks to me like that way. That's, I was, I was not open even open to have that conversation. So I'm like, I have always sold from my heart. I believed in who I am and, and it's never been scripted for me. So for me, it's always just, it's always flowed. It's like intuitively flowed. And so that's why for me, when I understood my power code, it all so much made sense for me. A lot of stuff made sense for me. And another thing here, like with our power code, like on top of it, like that was just learning like you're a six, you're a three, you're a nine, you're a two, you're a four. But then there's the part where, like I said before, we have the layers. So now we're looking at different influences. And so why is that important to know? And it, it's important to know because it shows us where our strengths are and, um, and where, where we can reach out for help. Because as when we, you know this as a female entrepreneur, we can't do it all ourselves. There's just so much out there. And, but sometimes it's tough to reach out for help. But now you can take a look at it and say, okay, here's where I do need help. I know I need help. It's in my code. This is going to be a challenge for me. So an example is we, um, we have our numbers and, and like I take your birthday and we plot them out. And so it's like we have our um, physical plane, our emotional plane, and then our mental plane. So now if you come back and we circle back to someone who's, um, I say that six for a sec, for instance, or actually any number, who's very high on the mental plane, where they have all their numbers in the mental plane, they could come up with all these amazing ideas, amazing ideas, but they'll have issues, they'll, they'll, they'll have some challenges with then moving those ideas out into the world because how our numbers are plotted on our mental, physical, emotional plane, that's how we receive information and how we move it out to the world. And I had a girlfriend reach out to me and this was exactly the example where she was struggling. She had all these amazing ideas. I'm like, oh my God, that's a cool idea. That's wonderful. But she's like, Shauna, I have all these ideas. I've had them for years, but I really struggle with moving them out to the world. And I was like, oh, wow, that's interesting. So then I did her code and sure enough, it showed in her code. And I'm like, wow, here's where you would be perfect to team up with, with someone that can help you move them out into the world. And so we had this whole conversation around that. And she's like, you could tell that just from my birthday. And I'm like, yeah. So we went over it and it's like, that's where you really start to learn how to sell your way and what works for you. And we have other things like we have different arrows in our charts that show up. Like we can be have the arrow of activity or planner or, or determination or compassion, practicality, frustration, hypersensitivity, and so on. There's a whole bunch of them. Those are going to also impact how you sell, how you have conversations. Because that's my whole thing is, is helping people to learn their way to sell their way through having conversations and not being so scared of having to have a script or having to know this or having to, oh, wait, I need the open-ended question, the closed-ended question. That didn't work for me. It does work for some people. It might work perfect for number four. They are, they like their structure. So that's good to know as well. But it just really, um, it's really about what works for you. And that's how you're going to be successful. And so this is just a taste of what information, what you can learn from your power code. And now I want to talk about believing in your products and services, being confident, and confident in what you can do and how you can help others, because you might have the confidence yourself, but maybe not in your products or services or, or vice versa, where it's like you love your products and services, but you don't feel confident in, in selling and having that conversation yourself. But one thing I do want you to know is, did you know that selling is helping? And that's another way to look at it, that selling truly is helping, that you're helping others. And especially when you're heart centered and you're coming from the heart that you know, you have something that can help someone. You can serve them helping, you know, you have programs or services, products, like think of it that way, that selling is helping, selling is serving. You're actually doing a disservice to yourself and a disservice to your potential clients or your existing clients by not selling to them. 
but there's a way to do it that feels good for you. So let's take a look here. For example, I was putting some peppermint oil on in my diffuser because I just love diffusing oils. I have a few friends that sell essential oils. And so I, it made me think about it where I was like, hmm, how would you talk about essential oils? So I was thinking about, like, because I always have little things about selling. I was like, hmm, how would you sell this? And so I just put this out as an example. If someone reaches out to you and asks you about your essential oils, like, how would you respond? Would you respond that, oh, yeah, I've got this peppermint essential oil. It's awesome. You know, would you like to buy some? It's $14.99. And that might work great, like if you're selling to like say a four or somebody who just wants the facts, but somebody else like a six who's, you know, that loving and compassion, they're like, you know, I want to, I want a little bit more here versus, you know, you saying to, like I said, a six, thank you for reaching out to learn about my essential oils. Yes. The peppermint. Oh my goodness. It's a favorite of many of my clients. I even have one client that she stocks up on it for her son. She puts it in his diffuser every night so that he can breathe better. It also helps with his migraines. And so see the difference you're like you're having a bit of a conversation with them and you're selling on the benefits as well but it's a way of doing it that feels comfortable it's not like you it just it can feel more natural for you having that conversation because there's just there's so much noise on the internet right now there's so much noise and especially for you know us that we're selling you know our products and services on the internet and the way it is right now you know in 2021 and there's more selling on the internet there's more noise there's more everything you'll notice for courses there's like challenges everywhere there's this there's that and it gets it gets to be a lot um because it, there gets to a point where you you start you're looking at everything you're reading and you're watching and then and then it's like who do you trust so for you, it's like, how do you come across confident in your posts, confident in your videos and in your stories that the women will believe? So they will believe what you're selling versus you not coming across confident, not coming across that they won't believe in what you're selling because it all starts with selling yourself. So it really does come down to being confident in having those sales conversations and selling um, in a way that works for you. So um, how are you, are you differentiating yourself in the marketplace? Um, if you're not, no worries, I can help you with that. Um, but I'm sure you've heard over and over that people buy from people they like, know, and trust. That's, that's a given, that's out there. Um, but the state of affairs, I heard, I was listening to the state of affairs thing by, I don't know, a few, three weeks ago or something, where they were saying that women are craving connection, community, and conversation. And that be ready to have a confident conversation about your products and services, especially if you have a high ticket item. If you have an item that's like, like I put a thousand dollars in plus here, but it could be like a $500 item. There's going to be women that want to reach out to you or men, whatever you're selling to, um, that they want to have a consult call or a discovery call or whatever you want to call the call, but they might have want to have a phone call or a zoom. And they want to have that conversation with you. So this comes back to believing in yourself, believing in your products and knowing that you can have those conversations. And it's as easy as having that conversation and learning to sell your way because women are so tired of buying programs. I mean, I just put women because you know, so I'm focused on right now um, are tired of buying programs and services. They're not getting the results they want. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, it's, we buy things and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, okay, well, that wasn't at all what I wanted. And some of it can, like I said, it can be maybe the program just didn't work or maybe it, like it, maybe it was your code and it wasn't working for you. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, my goodness. So points to remember, believe in yourself. Affirmation. I love affirmations. I do have an affirmation ebook um, that I have a free ebook for everybody. I should put the link here. But um, so affirmation for today, one of them is success begins with me. I love affirmations. And that's just something to remember. Success begins with me. I want you to say that over and over again, because success really does begin with you. It's about believing in yourself. And that's where that's the beginning to be successful. So you are here to make an impact. We're all here to make an impact. It's just knowing that and believing in that. And then what is your sexy sales goddess archetype? You know, what, how can you sell your way again with like selling your way? And that can't even talk today. Oh my goodness. Another affirmation is I sell my way and it feels amazing. And I want you to just think about that, how that would feel for you. And imagine that, how would it feel selling my way and feeling amazing? And then think about that, follow your intuition and do what feels right for you. And then through your power code, you can learn how you were born to sell. 
and then believe in your products and services. Affirmation, the world needs me. The world needs you. The world needs your products. The world needs your services. Remember that. Women are craving conversation. Are you ready to have that sales conversation? And remember, selling is helping. Selling is serving. Here's just some kind words with some women that have been through one of my programs with me. Um, Shelly Hagen is such a, oh my God, all these women are beautiful souls. But um, Shelly is a real estate investor and an entrepreneur. Um, cute little story there. She, um, she was my mentor. I was her mentee through real estate investing. So I did a mentorship program through her. And um, then she ended up taking my, I'm a facilitator for the brain game, which is also a component of my sexy sales goddess. And um, so she took, she took that program for me. So it was really interesting how, um, how we now we're, we're, and we're friends, how we work together and how the roles have changed. So just a few little kind words from her. Um, yeah, I like the way she said too that um, I'm a wealth of knowledge. And it's interesting because I look at the 25 years of sales. And even though I left that career and was starting off in the coaching world and it like transformation and mindset, I've come back to the sales aspect of it because so many people have reached out and they want my help with the sales. And I'm like, wow, this is, this is pretty powerful. So I can bring all of this together, my transformation, the mindset, the sales, uh, the power code. And so, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And then Michelle, a wellness mentor, she took my course too. And um, I love how she said that, you know, I'm nurturing as well as I'm gently pushing you is a great combination <laughs> because that's exactly it. When you need those little nudges and you need those little pushes, I, that's what I am. I'm about, I'm about gentle. I'm about ease and flow. Um, the whole, the hard structure, that was my old life. That's, I don't do that anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't work with my energy anymore. And so I love that she said that because I was like, oh, that felt so nice because it, it also showed me how I've come a long way in my own transformation journey. And then Susan, she took my course right at a time. She took the program right at a time where she was going through some stuff too. And it really helped her um, improve her life and get through everything. And she was talking about how she really realized when you're not in alignment, how you can get stuck and you can't move forward. And we will also talk about that um, tomorrow. So um, I invite you to join me. I'll do part two tomorrow um, of the three-part mini series, Selling Your Way. And we will talk about self-mastery, diving into fear, time to let go and choose love and compassion. And also um, in the meantime, if you'd like to reach out to me, you want to book a sexy, sexy sales goddess um, call with me. I would love to have a chat with you. You can reach me here because I'll be putting this on Facebook. You don't need to put hashtag goddess in the comments. You can go to my website, shaunarochecoaching.com. I would love to have a goddess to goddess conversation with you. I can stop sharing now. So thank you so much. I hope you got something about out of that. If you found it inspiring or if you feel free to share out with your friends, if you think that they would benefit from this. And thank you so much. Take care. And I will see you tomorrow for part two.